Now is the next step, finishing the edges or the sides of your cliff. So I've already used color number one, so I'm gonna put it over to the side, I'll put it over here. I'm gonna pick one of the other colors. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the yellow, so the other one's gonna go on the side. So I'm gonna go directly below this one. Now I'm gonna skip this one because I wanna show you first what it's gonna look like here. So I come in on the very edge, and then again, I color up and down. Now my yellow pencil, let me zoom in. My yellow pencil is getting into the brown. Well, I guess my golden brown is coloring on top of the regular brown, just like this. So I'm actually mixing the two together. Now, this one, do you see how small that space is? If I keep, keep it the same width, it's basically just going to color in the whole thing. Just like that. Now I notice this is wide and this is skinny, so I'm actually going to make this longer until it touches the edge. Now I'm not going to color it all the way down. So I go to this one. And here. Now, if I'm coloring and I don't overlap, then you can actually see where there's little spaces in here. And I don't want a perfectly straight line, remember? Because when it's jagged, they're actually gonna blend together. And so the two colors look like, basically, real life. When they, they kind of mix on the top, but then as they layer up, it stays solid. So I'm gonna continue and mix. I get into the brown, just like this. So then I keep going. Okay, so I notice this one's not as thick as that, so I'm gonna come back, make it a little thicker. There we go. And then this one. Now this one is not confusing as long as you just follow directions, but it will be in the corner and touch the bottom of the paper. But notice I'm not coloring all the way at the bottom because I need to keep the same thickness so there is actually a little gap here at the bottom. So when you look at the whole thing all together, you can start to see the chocolate and the caramel come together. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here. Go under it, overlap. So they kind of blend together a little bit. If you color side to side, yes, it's faster. No, it does not look realistic. So all the way touch the edge of my cliff. And there. So as you can see, none of these are small enough where they colored all the way to the bottom. Just like this. So this one is a little bit smaller. That's the only smallest one. So I've colored with color number one. Now I'm coloring with color number two. And again, once I get into this little corner, I kind of went a little too long here. So I'm gonna like pretend it's not a mess up. Because you know in art, if you mess up, always fix it. That's anything in life. If you mess up, you can always fix it. So now I'm looking back over it to see if I have any gaps. And I think I'm good. So I've used color number one. I've used color number two. Now I'm gonna use color number three. So color number three is significantly darker just because I want you to see the difference. So I have no space here. Can't do anything about that. So I come down to the next one underneath. Now since this one is significantly darker, I'm not gonna overlap a lot on the yellow or the golden brown. I call it yellow. Now this one 
So if I do the same thickness, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny little piece. I can either go ahead and color it in and be done, or I can leave it for the next color. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. That way I'm not cheating my picture. All the way at the edge. Don't do this. This is Scribble Scrabble. Make sure as you're coloring up and down that you don't leave spaces. Just oop, make sure you touch all the way and all the way. So this one is on the corner and it comes down the side a little bit. That's perfectly fine because it will do that. So now this one will actually color all the way. This is actually a dark brown. On the video, it's quite possible that it does look black. Make sure it gets smaller, smaller, smaller. Um, the actual pencil itself looks black, but it will color a dark brown. So now I'm gonna move over here. And here. Now once you are finished with colors one, two, and three, it gets smaller and then I can cover up my mess up. Perfect. Well, nothing is perfect in art, but I like it much better. Once you're all the way, all the way finished, you need to take all three of your pencils, flip your paper over on the back, read the name. It is in English, French, and Spanish. So I'm going to write in English. Then I need you to raise your hand, let Miss Boyt check to make sure that you are all the way finished with three colors. Once you are finished with the three colors, then raise your hand.